Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Physiology Learning. In today's Explain Why series, we are going to understand why dopamine infusion is being given to the patient in acute renal shutdown. Let's try to understand how dopamine is helping the acute renal shutdown. And coming to the actions of dopamine, dopamine has various actions in various different doses. For example, the low dose dopamine, it acts on the D1 receptor that is the dopaminergic receptor and whenever it is given in intermediate dose, intermediate dose, it can act on the beta receptors on the heart and try increase the cardiac contractility. And whenever it is given in very high dose, what it can do is it can act on the alpha receptors and they can cause renal vasoconstriction. So obviously these two doses we are not going to use the dose that is used for acute renal shutdown is low dose dopamine. This low dose dopamine is also called as renal dose. Renal dose since it is exclusively used in this renal shutdown condition. That's why they are called as renal dose. Now what does this low dopamine cause in the renal system in acute renal failure? First thing is it can act on the D receptors which we see here the D1 receptors and can cause vasodilatation. So this vasodilatation will help to increase the blood flow thereby trying to maintain the GFR that is the glomerular filtration rate is being maintained with the help of this dopamine and also this dopamine has one more action that is it causes sodium excretion and causes natriuresis. Hence because all these three reasons the dopamine is being used in the acute renal shutdown. But recently there has been a controversy regarding their usage and they say that various studies have to be implemented to further confirm the uses of dopamine in acute renal failure. But these are the points that we have to keep in mind which is helping the dopamine to be used in renal shutdown. I hope it's clear. Thank you for listening. Hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.